here that texting is a scourge. The idea is that texting spells the decline and fall of any kind of serious literacy or at least writing ability. The fact of the matter is that it just isn't true. And it's easy to think that it is true, but in order to say in another way, in which case, one thing that we see is that texting is not writing at all. What do I mean by that? Linguish has actually shown that when we are speaking casually in an unmonitored way, we tend to speak in word packet of maybe 7 to 10 words. You'll notice this if you ever have occasion to record yourself or group of people talking. That's what speech is like. Speech is much looser. It's much more telegraphic. Well, if you can speak like writing, then logically it follows that you might want to also sometimes write like you speak. Once you have things in your pocket that you can receive that message, then you have the condition that allow that we can write like we speak. And that's where texting comes in. And so, texting is very loose in its structure. No one thinks about capital letters or punctuation when one text. But then again, do you think about those things when you talk? No. And so therefore, why would you when you are texting? What texting is, despite the fact that it involves the brutal mechanic of something that we call writing, is finger speech. That was texting is. Now we can write the way we talk. And so, the way I'm thinking of texting these days is that what we are seeing is a whole new way of writing that young people are developing which they are using alongside their ordinary writing skills. And that means that they are able to do two things. So in closing, if I could go into the future, if I could go into 2033, please show me a sheet of text written by 16 year old girls because I would want to know where this language had developed since our time and ideally I would then send them back to you and me now so we could examine this linguistic miracle happening right under our noses. Thank you very much.